Hello guys, good morning or welcome back to a new vlog. It is 8.32 in the morning, it's a little early. Yeah, I was debating for the longest if I was gonna lay back down and try to get some more sleep. But usually when I do that, especially at this time, I feel groggy. So I was like, you know what, I'm not even gonna do this to myself. Um, but I slept so horrible last night. I don't know what it is. Like I've been waking up and just been like congested and like stuffy. And like last night, I woke up in the middle of the night and this nostril literally was just running. Like this one was fine the whole entire night. This one was just running. So that kept me up for a couple of hours. And then when I finally went back to sleep, it didn't feel like it didn't feel long enough. I'm just like, oh my gosh. But I laid in bed for a little, little bit, a little longer. Because I've been up since like 7.30. So I laid in bed for like a little longer and chilled and just relaxed basically it was on my phone so it is tuesday i'm off for today and i'm off for tomorrow so i plan on vlogging today and tomorrow and my plan is either one of these days i'm not sure um because i might i might go hang out with my friend i'm not sure yet though so we'll see about that but if i don't then i'll do it today but if not i'll do it tomorrow and that is decorate for Halloween. So I'm really excited to finally decorate for Halloween um, because I feel like I decorate like a little bit for fall, but it really wasn't like no full decoration or anything. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to just fully decorate. So if not, then I'll probably go hang out with my friend today and maybe go get whatever I feel like I still need to decorate for Halloween. I don't know. But as of right now, I want to go take me a shower and re-wet my hair and redo my hair because I did this hair two days ago the day before yesterday and i think when i got off the vlog with y'all my last vlog i posted when i got off the vlog um i had did my hair and yeah it just it didn't come out the best honestly i don't know what happened what's going on so i want to redo it and redo this hair that i did y'all i've been braiding to the scalp and i haven't braided to the scalp my whole entire life like i just cannot braid to the scalp or like cornrows if y'all know what i'm saying or french braid like i've never been able to do that i've been trying and so this is like the best i could do yeah i want to redo this see if i can make it come out better because i feel like i i realize like the more i do it the better they come out so yeah but i've always struggled with doing that i've never been able to do it so now that i'm kind of semi learning i've been like doing a bunch of hairstyles so yeah but then i also want to walk my walking path so i'll probably do that first before i shower and i want to walk my walking path for like 40 45 minutes not just 30 so i'm probably gonna do that and then make a coffee with y'all because i finally got something to make me a coffee with my new sauce i got my pumpkin sauce i'm so excited oh my gosh um hopefully the coffee comes out really good i'm so excited y'all like so yeah i'm probably just gonna walk on the walking path first drink me some water while i'm doing it probably do some whitening strips while i'm on there too as well i'm gonna do that y'all it's <laughs> definitely nutty Right? Oh, see? God damn! Sunflowers. There's sunflowers. Okay. I just got done walking on the walking bed. I did 40 minutes. So, it was like a little bit over a mile. Which I'm proud of. Because a lot of times when I do 30 minutes, it's, it's not a mile. It'll be like, like 0.75. But yeah, I did my whitening sugar. Took them off. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm not really seeing any more improvement. Ooh, my lips look chapped. Hold up. I hate when I have that white line on my lips. Ugh, it makes me cringe. Like, ugh. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and clean before I hop in the shower. Just so it's done. And, you know, this would be like a little extension of my workout, if that makes sense. I'm gonna clean up. I'll probably just show y'all before and then show y'all an after. Okay, so let me go ahead and show y'all the befores. So here's the before of the kitchen. Um, all these all these clothes are clean. They're just put right there because we needed to do another load in the dryer and my boyfriend just didn't put them in the freaking basket right away. So I just need to put those in the basket and then just put everything else that's on the counter needs to be put away. I'm gonna go work on this now and then I will show y'all the after. And here is the after. Here is the before. Okay, and here's the after. Okay, but yeah, that took me literally so long because I like been on my phone, took a whole phone call, paid some bills. Like, it's been like, I don't know how many hours. I think when I got off the treadmill, it was like no later than 9.30. It is now 11.20. So it's been like two hours since I like got off the walking pad and then till now. So me cleaning the kitchen and everything. I haven't eaten anything. I haven't even my coffee nothing y'all nada so let's go ahead and just do that but anyways i'm pouring some water in here for my supplement here and then i'm gonna just um take my 
calcium, magnesium, vitamin D stuff, and chase it with the water with my supplement in it. So, I'm just pour this in. Okay, so I'm gonna go hop in the shower. I'm surprised I'm not tired of that song by now, y'all. Cause I hear some on TikTok, but like that song is just really a good song. Like SZA is that girl for making that song. Anyways. Fresh out the shower. I washed my hair. I didn't realize I had so much product in my hair, which don't make sense because I I did my hair two days ago, right? When I last vlogged. And put this in my hair. Love this stuff. It never does me wrong. And I had washed my hair, like washed it real good, got out of the shower, put that in there, brushed it through with my like defining brush and everything. Did the little hairstyle in the front and <laughs> It looked like it had no product in it. And then I washed, I just washed it and it was so much product in it. So I'm like, the math ain't mathing. I'm trying to see what I want to put in my hair. Do I want to put this back in my hair? Then to see if I can do the braids better because I'm practicing still, y'all. Okay. Let's make a coffee. Got the coffee. This is the Starbucks vanilla latte. We got some heavy whipping cream. Got some almond milk. Don't know if I'm gonna need the almond milk, so. We'll see. I got the pumpkin pie sauce to start the show. And I have a cup here, and then I have another cup here for the sweet cold foam. And I have my froth there. And then I have this vanilla syrup. It's only a little bit left. I'm trying to use it before it expires. It expires November. So hopefully y'all can see everything. But I put the cup on like something so it's higher so y'all can see. Yeah, I'm gonna do a drizzle on the cup and put some ice. Let's see. Y'all, this stuff is so freaking good. And then I'm waiting to pour the coffee. I'll make the cold foam real quick, then I'll pour the coffee. And yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of this because I like when it's too much whipping cream and you could like taste it, you know, the thickness of whipping cream. Pour a little bit of this and then I'm gonna pour a little bit of this. It's vanilla. Don't want it to get too thick. Let's taste it. Mmm. Okay, all the drizzle has fell down to the bottom of the cup, but anyway, I literally just got all this stuff yesterday, y'all. Hopefully, I like this coffee. I don't remember, honestly. And then I'm gonna just pour the cold foam on top, do a little drizzle on top of the cold foam. I think I blended it a little too much because it's really thick. It's the whipped cream. And then a little drizzle on top. Oh, let's get let's get a flavor of that cold foam with the coffee. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Okay, it's really good. I thought this would be like the coffee I just had from Aldi's. Like that coffee, like you don't need to add anything else to it. This is more strong to me. I know everybody's different, but yeah, to me this is, it's smooth and creamy, don't get me wrong, but it's still like a strong coffee taste. So I probably would prefer to add maybe like a dash of creamer or like a little bit of almond milk preferably vanilla almond milk maybe so yeah but other than that it's good like i'm happy and i'm gonna devour this coffee because it is so good that pumpkin sauce is just mm, so good hello guys it is much later it's 3 30 now in the afternoon see so, yeah, i think i'm gonna go because i'm hungry so why not we're gonna eat some pho i haven't had pho in a very 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 long time but i love pho it is so delicious um i'm trying to figure out what i want to wear but i kind of want to wear the jeans i wore the last time I got dressed with y'all in the last video. I don't wear a plain white shirt again because I feel like I always wear that. I'm feeling sandals. And I'm not really feeling like dressing all up. I mean, it's my friend. She does not care. So, I am going to wear these though. I love wearing these. They're kind of like a little baggy on me now. So, <laughs> I feel good in them now just because like they're bigger. And I can't remember the last time I had like some jeans that were not tight on me, you know. Yeah, I think I'm going to go plain Jane and wear either these with jeans and a black shirt or jeans, my like coach slides and a black shirt. My hair still has like the cast around it so it's like super hard. <laughs> so I need to like break the cast. Okay, I'm gonna wear this black shirt with the jeans and then the black and gold like buckle shoes. And then I'm gonna just put on my little coach, little wallet on the chain. But I think I'm gonna change my glasses to these because why not i haven't worn these in like i don't even know how long i've been wearing the i've been wearing these every day so i'm gonna wear these i'm gonna go ahead and break 
the cast on my hair. But I'm gonna go like this, break the cast. I'm gonna just do what I've been using, the Finery Sweet on the outside. I don't put no earrings on. I'm gonna just wear these glasses, try to put some lip gloss on. I think that's it, honestly. But I think I'm dressed. I think I'm, I think I'm ready to go. So, um, I don't know how to feel about these because now i'm feeling like they're too small too skinny and you can't see them but i'm dressed so yeah so most likely i probably will get some clips on my phone of course and then i'll probably uh well i am gonna vlog tomorrow and i'll probably just decorate for halloween tomorrow so are so chapped right now. I was expecting to put a color on, but it just ended up happening. If it looks weird, just ignore it, y'all. But I had a good time. I was expecting to be out this late. We went to eat. We went to this fun place I'd never been to before. And I wanted pho, but then I saw that they had bon mis, and I'm like, oh, haven't had one in a minute, so I got one. And I had like a flavored pork one, and it was so freaking good. And then they had this drink with this like popping boba, and it was so good and we got frozen yogurt we went to marshall's and then they didn't have really anything in marshall's and then so we went to target and we spent a lot of time at target and i got a couple of things first i got a box to send off um, a package i got this board i want to just use it to put like against the wall on the counter i don't know exactly where I'm gonna see. And then I've never seen this until now. And they have this little ghost thing. I don't know what you're supposed to put in it, but I think I'm gonna put a candle. I don't want to go get some more hair products because like I'm literally out of all my good hair products. And so I got this. I haven't bought this in a long time. I'm hoping and praying that this is exactly what I'm thinking it is. But I wanna say this is it. I think this is exactly what I had that I ran out of. But I think the bottle's still in there, so but I got this. It's a bigger bottle than the one I got though. But um, yeah, I wanted to go to Marshalls to look at the hair products, and they had hair product. They had hair products, but it was like hair products that are probably good that I've heard are good, but I never tried, so I didn't want to take the risk. And then lastly, I got the Elf Brow Lift, uh, the clear one. Then I got the brush because I've been seeing people say this makes your eyebrows look laminated, so I really want to try this. But I'm gonna shave them up real good, make them straight and clean, and then I'm gonna use that. And that's everything that I got from Target. But yeah, I didn't get a lot of clips on my phone, so I'm sad about that. So yeah, now I'm gonna just go chill and relax for the rest of the night. So talk to y'all later. Hello guys, good morning. It's the next day. It is 9.40 in the morning. I must have vlogged way earlier, but but anyways. Yeah, it's 9.40 in the morning. I've been up since like 8.30. Your girl finally like slept better because I have not been sleeping the best, but thank God I slept better. But yeah, I'm feeling so good, y'all. Like I had such a good time. Like, so I want to decorate for Halloween. So we're going to get decorating. Um, I'm hoping that I'm satisfied. There's nothing else that I want that I need because if not, then I'm probably going to have to go somewhere. But I don't want to do that because I did that last year when it came to decorating. I just want to use what I have, save some money. I'm excited. I'm trying to debate what I want to do first. Do I want to, because I I haven't even brushed my teeth nothing like that. Matter of fact, let's go do that first. Okay. Let me brush my teeth. Yo, I've been squeezing. <laughs> Literally, I'm about to brush down and I'm just like, because this stuff is not cheap. I got my toothpaste. I forgot I had bought this a minute ago. I knew I had another box of toothpaste, but I forgot where it was at. <clears throat> Clean my hair back because it's driving me nuts. Let me wash my face like real quick af off camera. Because every time I wash my face on camera, <laughs> every time I wash my face on camera and I'm editing, I just let it cut all the clips off because I look so crazy. And or I'll just be like leaning down and you can't see me. So I'll be back once I wash my face. Okay, I just got off the freaking walking pad. But now it is 11 o'clock. So I was on there for I think 40 minutes and I watched a YouTube video while I was doing it. That helps me out a lot. It's like either listening to music or watching. I couldn't just like sit there and just do that in silence or. But let's go into the bedroom because I want to exfoliate my lips because they feel horrible. 
and then I want to um, try out that browser that I got. So let's go. I've been slacking on my water intake lately. I really want to get a different makeup organizer. I got this one in an old vlog, like oh, probably a year by now. I got it from the dollar section, the bullseye playground section in Target. And it did its job, but you know, I bought some more makeup ever since then and everything. So I want a closed one to where like, it's just closed and I can just dust off the top. This smells so good. Like I was just holding right here and I just got a whiff of it. But this is a lip exfoliator from e.l.f. I'm just going to use it because my lips feel so rough. I don't know what it is. Maybe I was just licking them too much yesterday. But I had lip product. But I got these two products. This is the e.l.f. Brow Lift. I don't know if I meant to get this one or the soap gel. So hopefully this is the right one. I'm trying to fix up my eyebrows a little bit. I never get like the satisfaction out of these using these on my eyebrows compared to when you get them waxed. But I cannot go get my eyebrows waxed because the way my skin responds to the freaking wax or whatever is just not. So my thing is when people do their eyebrows right, like with makeup, right? And say you use something like this, like a brow, like the Anastasia Brow Freeze, you use this. Like, you know, all the, all the gels, the freeze. Like when you use that, do people just put that on? Or do you also fill them in with like a brow product? That's my thing. And if you do, how does it go? Like. What's the step for that? I like how I have a natural arch in my eyebrows. So whenever I would always go get them um, waxed, I would just say just clean them up. And that would just be perfect. Like, because they literally would just only clean it up. They wouldn't have to shape them or anything or do anything crazy. And I love that. And even with that, like, I was still, like, react bad. I wasn't getting, like, the full process of, like, getting your eyebrows waxed. My skin still reacted crazy. Like, see, I can't get clean, like, clean, clean look. Especially, like, under... Cause I'm scared I'm gonna cut my eyebrows off, so I just slightly go in a little bit. I remember one time I did this, I cut a little too much off, and I did not like how it looked, so I left my eyebrows alone for like a little minute. I have these other ones, these are eyebrow, um, eyebrow shavers, but I've been using them to like cut my rubber bands off of my hairstyles, and so I don't want to put it on my eyebrows now. But like, does that matter though? Let's see if it does anything different compared to that one. One time I used there or my eyebrows and it worked pretty good. I was like, okay, but I was like, mm mm. You not like you can't sit here and think you finna do this a lot of times and it's gonna work out every single time. No. I just don't trust myself. So I was like, no, I'm not gonna take the risk. But it did work that first time. I was just too curious. I couldn't contain myself. So I still so I just did it. But I never did it again after that. But this is how they look. The areas where I use that little I use this one. It's starting to react a little bit. Oof. So we finna see. We finna see. Like right here it looks fine, but right here it looks weird. And so I guess that means I need to like sh cut my cut my eyebrows, the hairs shorter. And I do have a, a eyebrow cutter actually. Like I have the scissors to cut. Now the question is, do I like how this looks? Boom. And then boom. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't. Okay, like. This product does the job. It does what it's supposed to do. Okay, so let's do the other side. I'm going a little too crazy. But let's see. I definitely feel like my freaking eyebrows are like enemies. They're not sisters. They definitely not even cousins. Even doing the tail wrong. Y'all. Why does this eyebrow look so um arched like more than this one that's what i mean see it's like this one beefing with this one because she wanna don't want to look like this one okay i like how that looks for sure but do i like doing my eyebrows like this this is the craziest look too different should i just leave my eyebrows alone should i not do my eyebrows i kind of like how it looks but then some angles i'm like nah i kind of look I don't know. I like how they kind of look more like, I mean, not full because I didn't add any strokes, but I don't know. What do y'all think, though? Is this cute? Should I just leave them how they, I should have, I should have came close and showed y'all one just normal not being touched and then this one and compared it, but 
This one looks kind of crazy because I just put so much stuff in it and I was going over it so many times that some hair is like crossing. I like how this one looks because it's kind of like going up but going to the side and it's kind of just more. I'm going to go grab the Halloween decor out of the closet. I'll grab all of it, bring it to the living room and we're going to get to decorating y'all. I changed into my Bucky's Halloween shirt. <laughs> Cause why not? I think I did this last video too. But I put, I have everything here that I'm gonna use to decorate for Halloween. I was debating for the longest if I wanted to do like just a certain theme, if that makes sense. Like just pumpkins, just jack lanterns or just ghost or, you know. Yeah, so the new things I got was this. But yeah, I got this. I had never seen it before, so I got this. Then another one and now I'm kind of regret that I didn't get the other one. I don't know exactly what I'm going to put into it yet. I have like the little fake little tea lights. Then I also have these candles that like flicker. And I have like a shorter one. So we'll see what looks the best. And yeah, I still don't even know where I'm going to put that. So yeah. And then I got some more Halloween towels. I wanted like some more ones that have more color in them. So I got those. And those two things are from the dollar section of Target. That was our playground section. And then I got this blanket that I'm like most excited for. This is like a little ghost blanket that Ikea released this year. Part of their Halloween decor. So yeah, they have more Halloween decor, but they didn't have a lot in store. And here is all my blankets and pillows. I'm probably going to for sure use this and then use a little ghost in here since I'm kind of doing ghosts. I don't know if I'm going to use all of this. And then I have this tote here that has all the little figurines and stuff. Um, so I have this little RIP tombstone board that I bought last year to put stuff to put the decor on top of on the island so I'm gonna use this for sure so yeah I'm just pulling out everything I'm gonna use and then I have all of these little figurines so I have this one I have this one I have this one I have this garland this pom-pom garland so cute it's a little a little dusty and then I have these two candles and I love using these just to put these next to each other you know like on the TV stand or something but I was thinking to use one of these and put it out of the ghost but if I end up using the tea lights and it works out then I'll just use the tea lights then it's no problem but I guess we'll see but I have these tea lights these fake tea lights right here so I'm gonna pull one out so maybe I'll just put one of these inside but I don't know we'll see but all of these don't work. It's literally so annoying. I think that's it. I have this netting. I think I want to put it over the mirror on top. I think that'll be really cute. So I'm probably going to hang this up. And I'll leave it up there and and so it's out in case I do use it for a spooky basket for my boyfriend. Everything else I'm not going to use. Um, so yeah. So yeah, I don't have a crazy lot of decor. But... I did the same time if that makes sense because so yeah so yeah I think that's everything I'm gonna use so I'm excited
okay, I'm done decorating. It's like a later, it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon now. But I'm done decorating. It's really just mainly the living room, but I love how it turned out. Like I think it's so cute. Like I, I love it. And yeah, I put the stuff on the island of course. And then I put on the little towels down there. But that's it, I'm not gonna do the bedroom because there's really no point unless I had like a whole set like how I have in here for the bedroom then I would do it but if but I don't so it's okay I'll just do the bedroom normal and I'm pretty satisfied with this I'm actually satisfied like I'm overly satisfied honestly because I thought I was gonna put stuff out I was gonna be like oh my gosh just missing something something like that but no I feel fine like I'm pretty pretty satisfied with all of this so yeah so let me go ahead and just show y'all everything that I did so this is what I put on the island I have this tombstone I don't know I guess it's like a party tray board and I just kept the same little pumpkin with the candy corn and then I put this little pumpkin here. At first I had the white striped one, but I switched it and put this one here instead. But yeah, this is what I have right here in the middle of the island. And then I have these towels. And I really like these towels. Like, they're cute. I like the little black right down the bottom of the plaid. Like, I actually like them. At first I was like, eh, they're cool, but I actually really do like them, so. Here is the decorative shelf. I love this shelf right here with this ghost. I don't know why, it's so freaking cute. But yeah, I put the ghost right here, and then I have a little tea light candle fake one in there. And then I put this pumpkin right here. I forgot I put this just because all the colors on here are just like these type of colors, so I just decided to add that little pumpkin right there. But yeah, I have the pumpkin there, and then I have this ghost here, and I love this ghost. I don't know why I love this just so much. It's so freaking cute. And I can't wait till I light it up at night and see how it looks. Here is the living room. I honestly love how subtle it is this year. I think at least. I'm honestly not sure. I have to go back and look, but I feel like it's more subtle from what I remember. But yeah, so here's the couch. I put those two pillows on the couch. And then I added these two candles right here in front of the TV. And then I put that one pumpkin right there by the little home decor thing and then i put the garland right there and then i put the net on the mirror and i actually really love that i love how that looks so yeah that's something new that i didn't do last year but yeah i have this throw ghost blanket from from um ikea and i love it like i love it so much i love how subtle it is because it's not like the bright colors you know like when i say i want to like eventually get to the point to where i don't have like kind of like the bright cartoonish looking Halloween decor. I mean like this, like this is cute to like throw out and then I'll have like a little white ghost pillow, you know, that'd be cute. And then I put this little happy Halloween pillow. I love this pillow so much. Like for some reason, I feel like I always have to use it. Like I love this pillow so much. I was gonna put the ghost right here, but I feel like it would've been too much on top of the ghost blanket. So I put this one right here just to have still the black and white, but just a little bit of orange, you know? And then I just put the jack-o'-lantern over here and yeah i'm just leave that normal like that but i did take off the black pillows i was gonna in my head i was gonna leave the black two decorative pillows but i was like now nah, let me just take them off because that's just too too much pillows but yeah i put the jack lantern right here and then i have this really cute jack lantern blanket i got this last year from target and since i got the ghost blanket i decided to put the ghost blanket on the couch and put this one right here i had completely forgot about this last minute because i was literally gonna finna put i was gonna put all these away and keep it away in the bag that it was in but then i forgot i had made this little like basket thing with um with the jack-o-lantern like candy bucket i use that instead of this but i bought this basket this year so i figured i would leave it like this but yeah and i added this ghost pillow and then that pillow that says hey boo on it like it's so, like yeah, i really love it this is like so freaking cute and then you have the net you have the garland and honestly that's it and i'm probably gonna i'm gonna include just like some regular just like montage of the clips just just because just to be aesthetic and be satisfying you know but i'm also going to include videos of at nighttime whenever like it's like dark in here and it's like i have a little like figurine stuff lit up i'm definitely going to do that for sure Just
Okay, I put on some jeans and then I have on my slides just because we're not going anywhere crazy. And I have the package here, so I need to go to the office, print it out, um, package the package up, and then head out. So I'll see y'all wherever we do end up going first. So. It is now six o'clock, we're back home. Um, we went to go, we was running around because I lost my tape. I don't know where the freaking tape went. Cause we have like a um, actual like red big pack of tape. So we went to a dollar store and I got some tape real quick. Packaged it up and then went to the post office. And we were rushing because they were gonna close. They literally were finna close. And I wasn't worried about it at first. Cause I thought they closed at five. And we had like an hour, but then time started to creep on us. So yeah, we rushed and we got there literally like, I think like four minutes before they were finna close. Then we went to go eat at Chick-fil-A. Um, so yeah, I was gonna go to Dunkin', but I mean, food sounded like way better at that point because I didn't eat anything. And so yeah, we went to go eat at Chick-fil-A. It was really good. And then we went to Walmart. And I got some cookies because I wanna do this trend that's going around on TikTok, I probably like insert a little clip on the screen or a picture, but they're making like ice cream sandwiches out of like the Halloween cookies, but not these, but I love these cookies. Like I'm obsessed with these cookies. I always get them every time this time of the year comes around. I don't know what it is, these cookies are so freaking good. Like I literally have no idea what it is, but but yeah, I decided to use this. I thought like this would be better because I go have like the chocolate, so it would be like good. And then I got some vanilla ice cream and then my boyfriend got him some um, ice cream too as well. And so yeah, I'm gonna make the sandwiches. I'm gonna go ahead and make the cookies and everything because it's already six o'clock. I want everything to be like cool, like the cookies to be cooled and then I wanna make them and then freeze them again so they're like actually like hard and frozen. But yeah, I'm basically making like the Eminem cookie ice cream sandwiches, you know, that's like everywhere. I've always been obsessed with those too. I used to get them a lot when I was younger and even now like we'll get them like here and there because they're, they're just so good. So imagine with these y'all, oh, they're gonna be so good. So yeah, I'm gonna make the ice cream sandwiches with y'all. So yeah, I'm excited. I figure why not make like a little like Halloween cheat or something just for the sake of this um, video. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and start baking the cookies. I always want to prove what it's that dangerous. You got 
got something real up, baby. You wanna get with me? Stop. Hello guys, it's the next day, the next morning, and I'm actually about to start editing this video, so I figured I'd come over here and close it out, because I didn't close it out last night. But last night I made the little Halloween cookie, ice cream cookies sandwiches with y'all, and tried it, and they're really good. I had another one later on, and yeah, we just spent the night watching Kai stream, I started exporting some footage from his vlog, and yeah gonna go edit it so we are seeing this should be october 1st so so happy october 1st happy spooky season Ugh, i'm so excited y'all but hopefully y'all enjoyed this video hopefully y'all had fun um decorated with me hopefully y'all decorated y'all apartment with me y'all house y'all room hopefully and yeah i love how everything turned out like literally i love how like i don't know every time i decorate for halloween i feel like it feels more cozy like i love it i just yeah, i'm upset so it's probably like my favorite year so far that i've decorated for halloween so yeah i feel like making those cookies last time really got me into like the spooky season you know <laughs> but yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, thank y'all so much for being here and watching it i really really appreciate it if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe why not join the family and i will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Said you need some time, but I should